Hey everyone, Fox today. Um, long time no see, or like, at least I, I didn't upload a video for like a very long time. Uh, welcome to the draft analysis for the ICP. Um, this is not a league that I joined initially, but I got asked to uh, replace the coach. Um, oh wait, I, I still have my, my speakers turned on. Let me take care of that for a minute. Um, but I got asked to replace a coach and uh, I, I immediately said yes, because I really want to get back into draft. I haven't played draft for, uh, for a bit now. So uh, yeah, I'm back uh, here with the ICP draft analysis. Uh, it's kind of a standard draft. Uh, I think it's 110 points for nine to 11 months. Uh, there's a bunch of cool people in the league. Uh, please go check them out. I think I can manage to put the links in the description down below. Uh, please go do so. But I'll go over the uh, draft right now. So I took over a team. Um, I replaced most of the team that I got. Uh, I'll put a screenshot on the screen right now. At least I hope I remember to. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the original team has Ash for single strike, Spectre, Haxorus, Incineroar, Lucario, uh, Rutimo, Blastoise, Jansi, Sandicon, and Golbat. Um, the top two, Urshifu and Spectria, I um, decided to keep uh, because I haven't played with those ones at all. I think Urshifu Single Strike is amazing. Spectria uh, has some nice benefits to it as well. I played with Haxorus in the um, IBA last season. It's not a bad one, uh, just a one I didn't want on my team right now. Uh, Incineroar is a solid one. I, I thought about keeping it, but I, uh, I replaced it. Uh, Lucario is just a one that doesn't bring as much to a team as I would want it to, uh, kind of on a underwhelming in my mind. Uh, Road to Mo, I also played with in the um, UPBA, uh, not a one that really stood out to me uh, that much. Blastoise, I would have kept it if it got like good recovery, but it doesn't. Um, Diancy, uh, not so convinced with either, it has nice bulk, but uh, no recovery either or no pivoting, uh, which is annoying. Uh, Sandicon, not a bad one at all, but uh, just not something I was looking for. Golbat, uh, actually has decent bulk for an Violet one. Uh, but it's weak to rocks. So overall, it's not a team that I really wanted to work with, but I uh, think I made some really nice uh, replacements for the months. And um, I'll just start talking about them right now. As I said, I uh, want to keep Ash for single strike because uh, it's a mon I haven't been able to play with uh, entire like what's it called Gen A draft season uh, because there's always that like the first or the second month to go was just banned from the league uh, most of the times. But it's allowed here. And uh, I got my hands on it somehow, uh, just by uh, falling in as a replacement coach. Uh, it's an amazing one. It's such a big offensive threat. Uh, wicked blow, uh, blows through everything. Close combat for a nice uh, fighting sap as well. Um, it's only really bold by really bulky psychic, uh, psychic. What am I saying? Really bulky um, fairy types. Uh, and for that, it gets poison jab and iron head. So uh, it's not even completely walled. Uh, choice Bandit sets are incredibly powerful. Uh, choice Scarf is a very viable option. Uh, it gets bulk up as well. Uh, it has very nice defensive stats as well. At least physical defensive stats. It has 100 HP, 100 defense, uh, 60 speed F. Speed F isn't its uh, strong suit. But uh, you can even run a bulky one if you want to. So um, yeah, Urshifu is a very, very, very good mon. Uh, really happy I get to play with it this season. Uh, I'll just go over the mons in uh, like points, point order I think, because I didn't really draft them in one uh, specific order, I just draft them all at once. Um, so the next one is uh, Dragonite, also one I haven't uh, really played with uh, the entire draft season. Uh, Dragonite is a very uh, versatile one, of course it has a huge attack set of 134. Uh, we all know it for like the, the multi-skill boots Dragon Dance set, uh, very very powerful, uh, powerful set if you remove its counters. Um, but it has uh, much more options than that. It has really good bulk, uh, 91 HP, 95 defense, 100 speed death. Um, so a bulky Dragonite is definitely an option. I uh, know it gets Wish, so a Wish Parsing is definitely an option. Uh, it gets Roost as well, so you can uh, attempt to keep that multi-skill intact. It also has a very solid 100 special attack, so uh, running Draco Meteor and Fire Blast on this thing uh, definitely is an option as well. Uh, I think overall Dragonite is a very versatile one. Of course, it gets, uh, gets Defog as well, which is nice for a team. So um, yeah, just really wanted to try a Dragonite because I really haven't been able to. Um, next one, as I said, um, is Spectria. I did keep that one. Uh, I was thinking about replacing it with uh, Alakazam because that was still on the board and I really wanted to try that out. But um, I think Spectria, because of its ghost typing, uh, its highest PTA and its highest special, uh, special attack stat, it's just really fun to try out. Of course, it's move pool is what really keeps it back. 
Um, it basically is Shadow Ball only. <laughs> no, I get Shadow Ball, um, Wisp Hex is nice. It gets Substitute, it gets Calm Mind Nasty Blood if I'm uh, not mistaken. It gets Haze if for some ever, like for, if, for whatever reason you want to run Haze. Um, it gets Dark Pulse, much, much Shot or much Mud Slap. I don't really know. Um, anyway, it's basically uh, a mono mono ghost uh, coverage mon. That's enough, you know. Uh, it has huge special attacks out of 145, which is amazing. Uh, meaning that if you can remove the dark types and the normal types from the enemy team, um, Backshed kind of goes in. And of course, that's the Grimney ability. Every time it gets a kill, it gets a special attack boost. Meaning that uh, both spec sets and scarf sets on this mon are actually really viable as well. Um, lefties with uh, Substitute is very nice, Sub, uh, sub Willow Wisp Hex is a very good set, uh, Sub Combine, Sub Nasty Ball Roll options. So it was just a mod that I really wanted to try out uh, and I really want to make work. I think it pairs very well with Urshifu uh, being able to pull a double um, when you uh, bring in Spectria and immediately after bringing in Urshifu just to catch that Dark type or Normal type uh, off guard and be able to exert a lot of offensive pressure with Urshifu. I think that's a great combination, they have great synergy in that way. So uh, really looking forward to uh, to trying Spectra out. Um, next one on the list is uh, Slowking. I draft Slowbro the last season of the IBA and I absolutely loved it. Um, and now I draft Slowking, it's a specially defensive variant of Slowbro. Uh, still gets, I think, all of its moves. Uh, still gets Flamethrower, right? Yeah, gets uh, immense coverage. Uh, Flamethrower, Thunder... That's Thunder Wave, I thought it got Thunderbolt for a bit. Uh, Ice Beam, um, what's it called, Scald, Teleport, uh, Future Sight, uh, <coughs> Slack off for the immediate recovery as well, uh, paired with that Regenerator, it's a, it's a, it's a tank of a mon. Uh, of course it's physical defense that is not as great as that of Slowbro, but uh, special defense is um, even if not more important than physical defense in my opinion. Um, so I really want to try out the special version of um, Slowbro. Um, nothing much more to say about Slow King. Uh, next one is Klefki. Um, Klefki I also drafted in the IBA. Uh, it's a very solid one for what it has to do in my opinion. Um, I somehow always feel like obligated to draft both a Steel type and a Fairy type even though it probably isn't really necessary anymore to do that. Um, but Klefki is I think both a very solid Steel and um, Fairy type. Being able to increase its own bulk by setting light screens and reflects is very good. Uh, it's a spike setter, it's a defogger, uh, it's very good at that. Um, get some nice coverage of course in Play Rock, Dazzling Gleam, uh, Flash Cannon, that kind of stuff. It gets um, Toxic, yeah it gets Toxic. It gets uh, Thunder Wave, uh, it gets Foul Play to hit at targets with high uh, physical attack stats, which is very nice. So uh, overall, uh, Klefki did what it had to do for me. Uh, in the last season of the IBA, and uh, I hope it will do that again. Um, it's a very good mod, I think, in my opinion. Next mod I drafted is um, Volcanion. Volcanion is a mod that I always thought was like stupidly broken, or not broken, but just really good for the tier it's in. Um, it has like very good stat stats across the board. Uh, 80 HP with 120 defense and uh, 90 per def, so very solid bulk overall. It has a 110 attack stat and a 130 special attack stat, so very good. Very good at that. Um, and that's a 70 uh, base speed stat, so that's not necessarily underwhelming because you need that speed to, uh, to be filled, but it's not going to be a very fast one. Although uh, 70 base speed is still the tier where, you know, Scarf is uh, is a viable option. Um, of course, Specs uh, Volcanion actually melts through everything. Um, it gets Defog, which is very nice. It gets Water Absorb, so um, you'd be able to get some recovery out of that. Um, substitute sets are very nice on this one. Just being able to sub up, um, not being, not having to predict what your opponent brings in, and then going for like a very strong um, bite type move or a uh, steamer option is very nice. I'm sorry if my voice sounds really raspy, by the way. My, I, I think I'm losing it actually. I think I'm losing my voice, um, <clears throat> but it's all good. Um, I said I got defog right. It gets defog, which is very nice. So uh, we wanted to try a Volcanion uh, once because I haven't been able to do. That's all uh, draft season, so uh, that's for Volcanion. Next one is uh, Among Us. Among Us is also a returning member from the uh, last season's IBA team. Uh, Among Us actually really pleasantly uh, surprised me there. I think this stuff is broken, uh, especially combined with, um, what's it called? The Slope King I have on this team. Very nice double, uh, double regenerator core. 
Um, it gets Spore. Spore is one of the most broken moves in the game, in my opinion. If your opponent doesn't have a Grass type, um, your opponent probably is forced to bring a uh, Safety Goggles, like being able to force up an item slot uh, by merely existing on your team. <laughs> I think it's a very good uh, ability of Among Us. Um, the coverage on Among Us isn't great, but you really don't need it to be. It gets uh, Synthesis for some self-recovery. It gets uh, Sludge Bomb, um, Giga Drain, Energy Ball, Seed Bomb, that kind of stuff. It gets Stomping Tantrum. It's uh, to its Steel types if you really want to. Um, like if you're facing a Heatran or I think a Melmetal, you can at least damage it in some way. Which is quite nice. It's just uh, the core together with the Slow King is what actually makes it busted. So uh, very happy to have Amoongus back on the team. It did very well for me in uh, the last season of the IBA. Uh, next one is uh, Zyga 10%. We really wanted to try this out, uh, especially since it has a very good speed set at 115 and really needed to fill that speed gap uh, between Spectria and uh, Shifu still. So uh, very nice, it has uh, that high of a speed here and a nice 100 base attack with uh, the most... Um, it's not, not the most broken move, but uh, the move that hits everything, <laughs> a thousand arrows, which is very nice. Uh, Twist Band is a very good set. Uh, you can run Focus Sash, Dragon Dance, or a Coil with Substitute, or gets Glare style as well, right? Yeah, this uh, version gets Glare as well. So this is all the good about Zygarde, but then it's very frill and very fast. So uh, yeah, I really wanted to try this one out, especially for the point value it was at. I think it was a steal, and it was still a speed tier I needed to fill up. Uh, another one I maybe wanted to have in this place was um, Tornadus. I don't know if Tornadus cost the same amount, amount of points, but that was another one I was considering. Um, but I'm really happy to try uh, Zygarde here. And uh, <clears throat> of course it gets... Um, the role Zygarde has on a team can be filled by Dragon Knight in some aspect as well. Uh, especially talking about the um, Choice Bandit Extreme Speed um, with like a Dragon-type move. Of course not a uh, Ground-type move. Like, of course... Um, What's it called? Dragonite can run Earthquake, but it's not Thousand Arrows, you know. Um, but I guess that role gets kind of filled by both of these mons. But uh, Dragonite really likes to be run in any different way too. So um, I think it's still a nice addition to the team. We really wanted to try it out. And the final one I drafted was uh, Arduino. I had five points left, I think. And I really didn't know exactly what to draft with, uh, with it. Uh, so I just decided to add a third Regenerator mon to the team. Um, also, uh, keeping the speed tier a gap, uh, the speed tier in mind, because I did want something around that uh, 50 range to really um, make the speed tier spread uh, very nice. So, uh, Arduino has 103 base HP with uh, 86 uh, in both defenses, making it a very uh, generally bulky mon. Um, gets Regenerator is one of the, I don't know if it's one of the only wish passers, but it's a wish passer with a Regenerator. So, uh, on switching out to your um, teammate or to your other to your to your other mon uh, you both regen health on yourself plus the wish passes to that other pokemon which is uh, very good you heal a lot in one uh, in one turn it gets a uh, knockoff which i think is very nice uh, other moves that are worth noticing no but it gets a very nice coverage across the board it gets toxic as well uh, but it gets a uh, fire blast it gets grass knot ice beam uh, it gets psychic shadow ball uh, Thunderbolt. Uh, it gets very, very good coverage, although its offensive stats are 60 in both attack and special attack. So that's not generally amazing, but uh, having the coverage at least to hit um, ones that would like to come in on it for free uh, is nice, I think, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> not expected to bring uh, Arduino a lot, but it might be necessary in some cases to have a solid switch into something. Uh, I think it's just nice to have a, a third regenerator option on the team. Overall, I think I really improved uh, this team compared to what it looked like before. Um, having some more uh, pivoting options, having some more uh, regenerating options, like uh, not having your mons whittle down uh, across an entire match and then just losing because none of your mons have health left is something I really, uh, really don't like in a team. Um, so yeah, overall, really happy with the team, really looking forward to using it this season of the ICP. Um, Thanks to everyone in ISP for having me. Um, really happy to be here. Really happy to be uh, playing some draft again. And I hope you enjoyed the draft analysis. I'm really sorry for how my voice sounds. Uh, it's not very healthy. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. 
um, see you in the next one. Peace.